Okay, we're going. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is X windows. We uh, want to talk about X windows a little bit. Um, Linux and Unix is rather different from Windows in that my impression of Windows is that the GUI and the pretty bells and whistles and everything is actually built into the Windows system. It's kind of all rolled up together. I, I don't know that that's the case, but um, I, you always see them ran together. Um, so I don't think you can run a Windows system without running the Windows GUI. Um, if you can, that's new to me. In any case, um, in the case of Linux or Unix, um, the uh, Unix was developed before uh, we had a graphical user interface at all. It was um, um, it was developed on a system that just ran um, alpha numeric alpha terminals, a lot like the command consoles you get if you type the uh, Control Alt F1 or Control Alt F2, um, and and so. Um, Unix was built, you know, starting in 1969 before there were such things as, as graphical user interfaces, um, many years before we had graphical user interfaces. And then the graphical user interface was added on as an add-on on top of Unix. Um, we call that system X Windows or the X Windows system. And uh, it's a piece of software that actually is somewhat separate from Unix and could actually be made to run on a, another operating system. I believe at one time X Windows did run on a genus and on, um, um, I think on VAX, uh, on a VA, I, I'm not sure, on a number of other operating systems. Um, it is pretty well integrated with Unix, but still, in another sense, it is separate and lies on top of Unix. Thus, to run a Unix system, if you want to run it for a server or on a device, like inside an automobile that doesn't have a graphical screen, um, so be it. You don't. It's not really tied to the graphics at all. Um, X Windows itself is a kind of a weird system in its own right. It's actually more of a networking and a protocol than it is a, a graphical user interface. Um, we call it a graphical interface, but the windows it makes are really very basic and very primitive. And we have to add software on top of X windows to give it the, the look and feel of the windows and things like that. On the other hand, X windows has was built from day one with networking in mind. Um, so it, it is very good at networking. It's, um, I've heard it said it w is a networking protocol. Um, and um, so the networking is not really an add-on. It's intrinsic to X Windows. But the look and feel of the Windows aren't an add-on, which means, um, well, like everything in Linux, if there's one way, um, somebody else will make another way and another way, and before long, there's a dozen ways. So uh, when it comes to look and feel of uh, the X window system, there are many different systems out there. And uh, we'll take a look at a few of them. Um, OK, with that in mind, let's um, take a little look at the variation you can have in X windows. I'm going to. Um, this lecture is very difficult to give because usually I'm popping between three or four different computers to give this lecture instead of being stuck on just one screen here. So it really gives me some problems. But um, but let's yeah, anyway, let's look at our system here. I'm going to start up a couple systems in uh, VirtualBox. Um, I believe I already have a SUSE system running. and. Um, and I have a, and um, I will start an OPIC system. Um, OK, let me hit F3 here. And just out of curiosity, notice that it gives me options on booting OPICs. 
I can put desktop equals LXDE, KDE, um, GNOME, so on and so forth. Each one of these is a different um, uh, window manager or actually desktop environment that I can run on top of X Windows. They give me the make and look, the look and feel of X Windows. So um, I'm just going to boot this with the default right now. And um, you will remember that what we get here when we boot um, um, Nopix with the default is that Nopix uses the default of LXDE, lightweight window manager or something like that. And we get a look and feel that looks a lot like this. If I take the middle button, the wheel on my mouse, and I spin it around, I should get different desktops as I spin it around. I do not get that on my system because I haven't gotten the graphical, um, I haven't set up the graphics in um, um, VirtualBox right or something. So it doesn't spin around on my system. But if you put it on bare hardware, it will spin around and you'll get uh, like four different um, workspaces. And uh, you get a system that looks like this. If I bring up a window, the windows look kind of like this. There's um, uh, three little buttons off to the corner. Uh, there's a button here that does something. I can minimize my things. Also, I think um, I c well, uh, that's not working either. If I go up here in the corner, on a, if it was working, I would get a uh, display that would display all of my desktops in icon or my workspaces in icons. That doesn't happen. Uh, on this system. But we still get the general look and feel of the system, what it's like. Now, let me take this system down and let me reboot it. But let's reboot it with um, a different desktop. Um, and um, we will um, reboot this. Actually, let me just kill this guy because uh, it's not doing any harm. Well, we'll let it take it. It's down. OK, let's d reboot. Rebooting. Now, if I type F3 here, let me uh, reboot this with Nopix. Desk top equal. And let's do it with GNOME. GNOME is the uh, desktop environment that um, Fedora uses as its default. Um, I usually use KDE, which is the default that uh, SUS uses. Um, but uh, you know, to each their own. That's the whole idea of Linux. So we're rebooting now. And um, in a moment, we'll be up. OK, we have a different desktop environment here. Um, it's the same graphics in the background, everything like that. But notice over here, our work displays, spaces are displayed down here. Let me also, I've got to come up here for my applications. Um, where's a good application? Here's uh, our friend Emacs. OK, we've brought Emacs up. We can go over here. We've got a new desktop environment. Um, educational software. Well, what's Cantor? Um, um, and, uh, K ooh, the KDE way of doing mathematics. Now, that's an interesting thing. We're in GNOME. KDE is a different desktop manager. but some uh, most of the software that's written for GNOME will run under KDE or under you know most any desktop. It's designed so it looks more KDE like. It's kind of designed with KDE in preference, but it will run on another desktop. Likewise, things r that are designed for GNOME will run on a KDE desktop, generally speaking. So um, so you don't have to worry about 
any particular programming being KDE only or GNOME only, uh, they'll run most any place. Let's go over to another desktop. Let's see if we can find a um, internet. Internet. Where is um, Ice Weasel? Okay, here Ice Weasel is coming up. And this gives me, um, um, where do we go? Oh, we'll go to our good friend Caligator.org. Okay. And this brings up our good friend Caligator.org. And um, we, well, basically, we've got Ice Weasel up. And then we can flip any place we want between our workspaces. I don't know GNOME that well, but I assume I can make more workspaces. I can do anything I want there. Um, OK, next. And then I'll take this down after we get done here. Next, let's go over to this area where I have a, um, a virtual machine. Not there. I thought I had a virtual machine. Running. Um, a running um, SUS. And uh, SUS's default is KDE, but I can always switch desktops. Uh, SUS gives me a pretty easy way to switch desktops. If I go to this here, um, and um, OK, and then if I, this is my login menu. If I go down to the bottom section of my login menu here, it will allow me to choose my desktops from any of the ones I have installed. So if I choose, um, TWM, then I log on, I will get a new desktop if I log on correctly here. And it looks like, well, it looks pretty strange to me here. But um, actually, let me put this in full screen mode. And this looks pretty strange, but this is my desktop. If I press down here, I can bring up a um, terminal session. If I want to type, um, oh, Ice Weasel didn't exist on this, but Firefox probably does. Firefox, this should bring up a um, session there. And so uh, this is a. You know, I do not have the multiple workspaces in this one, or I can't find them offhand. Um, it's a very different desktop. And X Windows allows you to do that. So um, OK. Now, the. I normally run SUS. This is my home workstation right here. And it runs KDE. Normally, I set up, uh, my workspaces are set up down here. I usually run with eight workspaces at a time. And I normally keep different things in different workspaces. And I keep a lot of stuff open. This is typical of, of the way I would be working on a system. I find it very confining to use a system that, that doesn't use work, multiple workspaces. I've always found Windows to be very confining for that reason. Although Windows 7, with those little pop-ups that come up, is, um, is a much, uh, it's, is, a, is better than, than before. Um, OK, this pretty well dis closes our discussion of desktops. So uh, I will end the video here, and then we will come back and we'll talk about some more X Windows stuff because there's a lot of neat stuff you can do with X Windows. Bye-bye. Um,